Hello YouTubers out in YouTube land, it's me, your favorite Bible thumper, Mr. Morris. And today we're going to be discussing the reasons why free will is important and why God made you and I. See, the reason why free will is important is because it gives you the opportunity to make a choice. See, in the angel's case, it was the choice whether or not to accept Jesus Christ going down to redeem humanity, which is the reason why a third of the angels fell. In the human's case, it was the choice whether or not to rearrange the creation in such a way that we see it as today. So starting with the second one, God created Adam and Eve in the garden. He also put the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the garden, knowing that one day he would have to eventually eat from it, that a human being would eat from it. It didn't necessarily have to be Adam and Eve, but it was. So they would become the father and mother of all of humanity. God, knowing this, makes the act of redemption. Jesus Christ redeems all of humanity's sins so that one day they can be welcomed back into the glory and grace of God's heaven. Now, the angels knowing this as part of their plan because they're the ones helping fulfill it, the ones that fall actually love God so much that they can't bear to see something like this happen. So they actually wage a war on the premise of giving humanity redemption without the sacrifice. But since God wins out and his plan comes to fruition, we see that the angels are fought back and all of them will be uh, cast into fire for not obeying God's law. It doesn't mean that they don't love God and still don't obey his rules. Because in the book of Job, it gives you a clear condition by which the angels operate on the earth. They still need permission to do things because God is still king and they still love God. Otherwise, Satan would not have been able to walk into the throne room of God the day all the sons of God were presented in the throne room. It just is. So God makes the conditions by which humanity would fall by creating the tree of knowledge of good and evil bringing death into the earth, making the conditions for which an angel would fall, it just so happened to have been Satan, just so happened to be Adam and Eve, just so happened to have been Lucifer, who we would come to know as Satan. But that does explain how free will is important, creating those conditions. Because any angel could have fulfilled it, any human being would have fulfilled it. But the question is, is why would God actually want to make it that way? Well, God wanted to make a being who would not actually know his awesome power and glory to make a full flourishing relationship. You see, angels fear God and know God and love God because they are in the presence of him. They saw the universe being made. They know his awesome powers and what he can do. Human beings descended from Adam and Eve do not know these things. You see, the reason why the universe was actually rearranged post leaving the Garden of Eden was because God wanted to make sure that nobody would know the full awesome powers of the heavens. You see, in the cases of the apostles, yes, you can still talk to spirits and you can still wander about in the firmaments of the heaven. But no one at any time has ever seen any human being seeing the face of God. The closest I know of is Moses seeing the back of God. And we knowing that we were made in the image of God. So he makes us knowing full well that we will never truly aspire to his awesome power, that we will never come to understand or comprehend or any of that. So you can actually have a true relationship. It's that barrier that exists for us that the angels did not have that give us such an opportunity to actually have a relationship that the angels cannot. If there's any questions or comments, you know, just leave them in the comments bar. If you have a suggestion for another video, just let me know. And thank you for tuning in.